So on that unit you see right there, that's a big uh, unit like that one. It's a Munters. Uh, like a dehumidifier, big type of thing for like an entire grocery store. Got, an, got a call for it for, uh, it's an alarm. Compressor one is an alarm and then it's got a, the reaction fan not running. Inside we got this uh, control board and it has three alarms right now. They are compressor alarm, compressor alarm A, compressor alarm. So LP lock, I'm going to assume, or I did assume that that's low pressure. And that's it for compressor A. So over here on A, we check the pressure. And I know my gauge is messed up. I'll buy a new one one of these days. But even though it's messed up, I still know that, let's see. still know that this means that there's only like uh, 60 pounds in the system 50 or 60 pounds so I feel pretty sure that my circuit a has lost all its refrigerant so look around in the unit you know look for oil open all the panels you know and it's got some coil right here over here We've got some coil. When I look around, I see oil back there. Let me see if I can make the camera spot it. Let's see, it's like right about, yeah, right down there. So about halfway down, Right over here. All in here, there's oil. Let's see. Nothing over here, coil wise, just a big reaction fan. So I'm hoping with the 60, 70 pounds of pressure that I got in there, I can find it. So this here is one big ass coil that is not broken into sections that has four circuits coming into it. So you spray around a little bit and, and, and you find it. Oh, you can probably hear it now, but I would start spraying and then I guess I got the, the bubbles pretty close to it and on it because now it's, uh, it's hissing. In here somewhere. I think I know where it's at. I think it's so big that it's it's pushing my bubbles away and I can't really locate it. So I'm gonna so I need to get some of this crap out of the way. So you can get this stuff out of the way, you just gotta do it like one at a time. You take like one tube and you scoot it over, you know, kind of like that. Oh, it's not too hard. Yeah, I can hear it. I mean, hopefully when you're doing this, you don't pop another leak. You know, if they make these units good enough of decent quality in the factory, they wouldn't spring leaks when you do stuff like this, or even at all. All right, so here it is. Right up in here, you can hear it. So finally, I have pinpointed it. It is going to be right there. That tube coming from the left-hand side, 
Oh, there you see it right there. No denying that. And that's just with like 50 or 60 PSI of standing pressure. Can you imagine how severe that leak was when it was full of liquid? And there I found the leak, you guys. So you see that arrow right there? Points right over to in there, which I showed you just a minute ago. And then this is kind of a diagram of, of how the circuit's designed on the upper right-hand side of the coil. Start up here, it's 11 tubes down on A, so A11 is what I'm calling it. And well then, there's really not much else for me to do with this. Um, call it in to the office or email the office uh, with all the information to get this giant coil, the crane, another technician to help me, all quoted and scheduled to do it. So thanks for watching. I'll follow up when I'm doing it.